I think most VR enthusiasts dream about this. Total immersion while wearing compact and comfy headsets that doesn't skimp on visual quality. That dream seems distant, but it's becoming reality quicker than we thought and one big leap into the right direction is this, the big screen beyond. This is the tiniest, lightest PC VR headset available. The first one tailor-made to fit your face. But since it's the first, there's a lot of need to knows before you get one. I finally got a preview unit and had time to test it over the last month. It's not the vinyl version and I have to send it back. Plus, there could be some improvements later, but it should be close to the version that's releasing in quarter 3 this year. Now, there's really not much to review about this headset because what you you see right here is what you get. It's mostly displays and optics. So I can only tell you about how the visuals look and how comfy it is to wear, but unlike a standalone headset where everything you need is built right in, the Beyond connects to your computer and how well it performs depends on how good your PC is. And it uses SteamVR base stations and controllers for tracking which aren't included so can drive up the cost. But at least we know that Steam VR tracking is still top notch. Despite that, the experience it offers is oddly wonderful. Specs don't always paint the full picture for VR headsets, unlike uh, for monitors. So instead of just spewing numbers like resolution and everything like that, I'll also focus on the experience I had and also the very strange feeling I got from it because that's what VR is about, the experience. But let's get the specs out of the way first, after you subscribe, if you enjoy XR content. My cat Milky Way also thanks you. The Beyond sports a total resolution of 5120 x 2560 pixels with OLED micro displays and pancake optics in an RGB striped layout. It supports refresh rates of 75 and 90 Hz and has a view to view of 90 x 93 degrees. By packing so many pixels into the little 1 inch displays, it can reach a pixel per degree of 28, surpassing many VR headsets on the market currently. Currently. This results in a crispy clear image and no screen door effect. What sets Beyond apart are its OLEDs. This really means deep black levels and vibrant colors. The headset sweet spot is easy to locate. I think the face foam helps with that. The display is nothing short of impressive, especially considering I didn't expect these visuals in such a small form factor so soon. The only complaint you might have for this is a somewhat narrow view to view and occasional glare at the screen's edges. This glare doesn't matter much during gameplay, but may become more noticeable in scenes with high contrast, typically during media viewing, like watching movies or maybe when working. Some of you might be more sensitive to this than others. The special thing is the headset's custom fit design. This means when ordering, you need to use Big Screen's app to scan your face. This process captures your facial shape and the distance between your eyes also known as your interpupillary distance or IPD. Based on this data, the face cushion is custom made to perfectly fit your face and the display and the optics are properly aligned to your IPD. You'll need an Apple iPhone XR or a later model for the scanning process. If you don't own one, consider borrowing one. The result of this entire package is the most comfortable VR experience I've had so far, reigniting my spark for PC VR games. However, I found some things. The soft strap has a tendency to slip off my hair unless tightened considerably, which can be uncomfortable. This issue seems to be less prevalent for Cherry, perhaps due to the differing texture of our hair. Fortunately, Big Screen has announced they will be including a top strap in the box, which should alleviate this issue, although I haven't had a chance to try that out yet. But when I found that tying my hair in a knot kept the headset firmly in place, it was game over. Or should I say game on? Because the comfort was now amazing, my productivity plummeted. I found myself engrossed in Vertigo 2, easily one of the best VR games I've played this year by the way, and two hours flew by unnoticed. I uh, only removed the headset when Cherry called me to say she was about to leave work, and I was kind of shocked to realize how late it was and that I had dinner to prepare. But the strange feeling I got was when I was playing for about four hours straight on another day. I took off the headset 
and everything felt weird for a moment. I didn't realize it before taking it off, but it felt like the headset became an extension of my face, if that makes sense. You see, the face foam kind of melts on your face, kind of like memory foam. And I guess at some point I forgot I was wearing the headset. I kind of had to readjust to real life, like it felt strange to me not to wear my beyond anymore. While this might sound a bit scary too, it did make me appreciate the magic of a truly comfortable headset because it mirrored the experience of trying VR for the first time, that sense of magic all over again. The only factors breaking my immersion were physical fatigue and the call of nature. But I suppose that's for the best, as I'm not sure if we should be in a headset for that long without any breaks. Plus, the headset can get a little warm, since there isn't much air between your face and the headset. It's not a big problem for me, but if you're sweaty, breaks to clean the foam are gonna be nice. And you need your own headphones, as the headset doesn't come with built-in audio. However, it does feature an excellent microphone, which you're actually listening to at this very moment. For those requiring vision correction, optional prescription lens inserts are available. So I've also put the headset to the test as a monitor replacement for work, movie watching and flat screen gaming. And it truly shines when it comes to enjoying 4K movies and pancake gaming. If you're wondering if you can read for work, then you totally can, but I do think this resolution is not quite there yet because with my normal monitor, I still have a more comfortable reading experience. However, the fact that I can use it for a very long time without issues compared to prior headsets is significant progress. The neat thing is that you can also eat and drink while wearing the headset because of this form factor. But since there is no nose gap or light leak at all, locating your beverage can prove challenging. We really need some form of trackers for such items. On the flip side, no light leak at all can totally immerse you in the game. I personally really like the direction this technology is taking. The experience has been a little strange, but without a doubt, one of the best I've had in VR so far, and it can only get better. But should you invest in this headset? It's not an easy recommendation due to a few factors. Chief among them being the cost. You'll require Steam VR accessories and a powerful gaming PC to run it well. This is on top of the 999 US dollars for the headset. And with this custom fit design, resale value is practically zero. You can get a new face foam, but finding someone with the same IPD might prove challenging. So sharing this headset is also not an option. Many of you voiced concerns about these aspects in my last Beyond video and I hear you and I get you. I think this investment is only justified if you have a specific use for it and are going to use it a lot. I started the poll recently asking what everyone found most important in a VR headset. And interestingly, that was comfort and visual clarity, the two things this headset does have. Of course, the general consensus in the comment section was that it would be a dream to have everything in one headset. Unfortunately, the technology just isn't there yet, so that's why every headset has their compromises. But I think Big Screen did their research and they took the two things that is most important to most people and improved upon that while compromising on others. So even though the Beyond isn't the ultimate all-in-one headset yet, it is a significant stride towards that goal. This should hopefully stoke the flames of competition. In any case, VR is very much alive and I'm so excited to see what happens next. So what do you think about the big screen beyond? Will it be your next headset or are you planning to hold out for the next gen? Share your views in the comments below. If you're interested in more headset reviews, check out this playlist right here and consider subscribing to join us beyond reality. Thank you for watching. Special shout out to our champs or the VR, I always get confused, VR on, tot later.